What's going on everybody? So if you have airplay video lag, um, and if you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you here what it kind of looks like. You can hear the audio kind of cuts in and out. <clears throat> now it's not bad that one screen, that there's lag between the screens, it's the problem that the screen that you want to watch isn't playing right. So you can see the top one is way off. The audio is cutting in and out. It just can't keep up. And you see that top one's just, it's clicking like crazy. While the bottom one's playing fine. Okay, so the little trick that maybe might be able to help you out, it might, maybe not. But if you just come up to your thing, um, the display icon, come down and say extend instead of mirror just extend and what that'll do is it give you a screen down here and it'll give you a secondary screen um, on your TV so you just come down here drag your video over pop it up and the lag has gone away as you can see no clipping of the audio anymore and everything's playing fine alright so I thought I'd show you guys what I'm working with and kinda of move Kind of quick here, I don't want the video to be too long, but Apple TV 3, new MacBook Pro, fully spec'd out, cost a pretty penny. Uh, my old router, bought that four or five years ago, and my new one, so Zeus, there's the model number. Um, you can look that up, plenty of reviews on that online. But anyway, um, if you thought that whatever it is you're airplaying between to get to the Apple TV talks directly to each other, they don't, they use your network as a medium. So it's totally dependent on how fast your network is. Now, my old one is only operates on the 2.4 gigahertz for the Wi-Fi, which I use to use the AirPlay, and it tops out at 150 megabytes per second for Wi-Fi. So realistically, it's probably around 80 to 100, so that's pretty low. This new one, um, on the same 2.4 gigahertz band, operates at a top speed of 600, realistically probably more around 3 to 4, which is still way faster than that is. Um, now if you bought yours in the last, I'd say, 2 plus years, and it was a budget one, you're probably on the 2.4 uh, band, and that's why you're having problems. Um, so if you can just step up to get to the newer ones, the newer ones now operate in the 5 gigahertz band. And this one claims that it'll top out around 1,900 megabytes in the 5 gigahertz band, which the new laptop and the Apple TV do connect to the 5 gigahertz band, so you're good there. Uh, realistically, you're never going to see those numbers, but um, I don't even know where to put a good guess on what exactly you'd actually be getting, but trust me, it's a lot faster. I download things twice as fast with the same internet connection, just my Wi-Fi is up, so... And the AirPlay works perfectly, which we'll see in the next clip. Um, both mirrored and extended work flawlessly with the new one. Um, what else? What else? If you're going to buy a new one, because uh, if the little little helpful tip or hint uh, to switch it over to extended works for you sometimes, and then when people come home and your traffic of your network goes up and starts lagging again, uh, or maybe you're just alone, it'll work for you. You don't have to go buy a new one, but... If it doesn't, in the long run, you really just need to buy a new one. I would suggest getting something in the 5 gigahertz that supports 5 gigahertz because just because it's 5, it's already faster than anything in the 2.4 will offer you. So you'll be set there. You don't have to go and buy something so expensive. I think this one, at the time I bought this in the video, it was 230, which is you definitely don't need to spend that much to get it to work. But in the same respect, if you already have an Apple, you already have an Apple TV. What is really seventy to eighty dollars? You know, you really should just go out and just spend it to have the feature because nothing else has AirPlay, and it's awesome to just stream stuff and be able to work on your laptop at the same time. And yeah, so anyway, uh, to the next clip, we're gonna show this one working. Again, if it doesn't work, just try and find something in the five gigahertz. I've looked on Amazon. There's roughly a decent one is around at least at the time of the video. A decent one right now is around eighty bucks. So. Don't be cheap. Alright, so we're back and we're connected to the new router this time. And as you can see, we're back in mirror mode. And we're going to hit play.
And as you can see, they're bull. It's playing fine now. Unlike the slower router. Alright, so we'll just back out. Pause. Back out. And we'll go to extended. Which should be even better. But it really doesn't matter because it's just a nice router. They'll be both equally the same. So there you go. Hopefully that clears up some frustration for you guys. Um, any other questions, leave them in the comments.